morning everyone and welcome to Friday morning prayers it's good to be with you this morning I'd like to welcome brother Sean and Jeannie and all those that are not logged in this morning we begin this morning with our lighted candle we have a candle lit for global peace and into spiritual unity in the name of our beloved father mother God who creates life in the name of the risen cosmic Christ who loves life, in the name of the Spirit who is the fire of life, in the name of Gaia who is the earth mother that nurtures the creation of all life, in the name of all faith traditions who are the beloved sons and daughters of the divine life, we celebrate our spiritual diversity by honouring the supreme in all life. And we say this morning, be still and aware of God's presence within and without. So I'd like to continue this morning with the prologue to the Friday morning communions. I enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the Heavenly Father and Earthly Mother and Great Masters, reverence to the Holy, Pure and Saving Teachings, reverence to the Brotherhood and the Sisterhood of the Elect. Friday morning we commune with the Angel of Air saying, Angel of Air, enter my lungs and give the air of life to my whole body. As you say this, you contemplate on the atmosphere around you as you connect with the rhythm of your breathing. So this morning, we just thank the Lord for our life and our breath this morning. And we thank him for another day, yet another day. And I'd like to say the prayer of protection. In the name of the risen cosmic Christ, I draw a bloodline by faith around the Teyu community this morning, around each one of us online today, around Brother Sean, Jeannie, and all those that are not logged in today, myself, Elizabeth and Eleanor, and all those members of the Teyu community. We draw a bloodline round our health, our finance, our homes, our partners, our families, our life's work and our friends and clients. We draw a bloodline by faith knowing that there is power, wondrous power in the precious blood of the risen cosmic Christ. And neither Satan nor any of his core workers or dark energies or entities can ever cross such a bloodline. Amen. And now we stop for a few moments and think of the things that might be troubling us this morning. Maybe we're bothered with aches and pains. Maybe we're bothered with illness. Maybe we're worried about someone else. Maybe we've got money worries. We just hand them over to the Lord this morning and we draw close to the Lord in prayer this morning. And we say in the comfort of your love I pour out to you my Saviour, the memories that haunt me, the anxieties that perplex me, the fears that stifle me, the sickness that prevails upon me, the frustration of all the pain that weaves about within me. Lord, help me to see your peace in my turmoil, your compassion in my sorrow, your forgiveness in my weakness, your love in my need. Touch us, O oh Lord, this morning with your healing power and with your strength so that we may be able to return to you, children of God, whole, perfect and complete. Amen. And now we have Psalm 40. Thanksgiving and request for help. Excuse me. I waited, I waited for the Lord and he stooped down to me and he heard my cry. He drew me from the deadly pit from the miry clay. He set my feet upon a rock and made my footsteps firm. He put a new song into my mouth, praise of our God. Many shall see and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Happy is the man who has placed his trust in the Lord and has not gone over to rebels who follow false gods. How many, O Lord, o Lord my God, are the wonders and designs that you have worked for us?
you have no equal. Should I proclaim and speak them, they are more than I can tell. You do not ask for sacrifice and offering, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocausts and victims, instead, here am I. In the scroll of the book it stands written, that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law in the depth of my heart. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed, or you, and you know it, O oh Lord. I have not hidden your justice in my heart, but declared your faithful help. I have not hidden your love and your truth from the great assembly. O oh Lord, you will not withhold your compassion from me. Your merciful love and your truth will always guard me, for I am beset with evils too many to be counted. My sins have fall, fallen upon me and my sight fails me. They are more than the hairs of my head and my heart sinks. O oh Lord, come to my rescue. Lord, come to my aid. O oh, let there be rejoicing and gladness for all who seek you. Let them ever say, The Lord is great, who love your saving help. As for me, wretched and poor, the Lord thinks of me. You are my rescue and my help. O oh Lord, do not delay. Amen. Now a scripture reading from Isaiah. O oh, come to the waters, all who are thirsty, though you have no money, come and buy wheat and corn without money and eat at no cost wine and milk and have always been led to believe that that's about receiving the holy spirit and we're thinking about that this week because it's pentecost on sunday and brother sean's been doing um some reflections on an evening uh, at, at 10 p.m uh, on the doves for peace channel he's been doing some reflections for Pentecost. So we think about receiving the Holy Spirit this morning. And now we come to the Benedictus, the Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty Saviour in the house of David, his servant, as he has promised from the lips of holy men, those who were prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our foes from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and save from the hands of our enemies all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his way before him to make known to his people their salvation through the forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like a dawn from on high. He will give light to those who are in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the new way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now I'd like to share a little reading from Jesus Calling this morning by Sarah Young. And it says, Rest in my presence when you need refreshment. Resting is not necessary idleness as people often perceive. When you relax in my company, you are demonstrating trust in me. Trust is a rich word laden with meaning and direction for your life. I want you to lean on, lean on trust and be confident in me. When you lean on me for support, I delight in your trust and confidence. Many people turn away from me when they are, when they are exhausted. They associate me with their duty and diligence. So they, hide, they try to hide from my presence when they need to break from work. How this saddens me. As I spoke through my prophet Isaiah, in returning to me and resting in me, 
you shall be saved. In quietness and trust shall be your strength. That's a lovely scripture, is that? I'll read that again. In returning to me and resting in me, you shall be saved. In quietness and trust shall be your strength. Amen. So now we come to intercessions this morning. We say, Heavenly Father, Earthly Mother God, we pray this morning for the Teu community. And we remember our sisters this morning, Eleanor and Elizabeth. And we also pray for Larry's soul today. And we just pray that you will surround them with your love and your comfort at this time and that you will help Elizabeth's family at this sad time. And we just also pray this morning for Brother Sean and for Brother Rob. We just ask a blessing upon them. And I'd like to pray for Jeannie this morning and for Jeannie's family and for all the work that she does for you, Lord. We pray that you bless them. And we pray today also for Sister Elaine and for Laura. And I pray for Elaine's mum. We just ask a blessing upon Elaine's mum today. And we pray for Sister Miriam, New Zealand. And I'd like to also pray for Sister Nancy. I pray this morning for Cathy, who is going blind, one of one of Brother Sean's neighbours. We just pray for Cathy, and we pray that you will surround her with your love and comfort at this time. And we pray for Judy's son, who is having a heart operation. We pray for Judy's son, and we pray that everything will go well. And I'd like to pray for Elsie's, for Sister Elsie, for her daughter Jane, and for all her family. And we pray for all those that we, we are close to, and that we know uh, have problems. And we pray for all our families this morning. We bring our families, and we just stop for a moment, and we give the burdens of our heart up to you, Lord, this morning. And we just give our prayer list to you, Lord, this morning. And we hand it over. And we say thank you, Lord, for taking a hand in our prayers. And we let go and let God this morning. With all our prayer requests, all our worries and concerns, we let go and we turn them over to you, Lord. And I'd like to pray for all those who have passed away who are close to us. We pray that their souls may rest in peace. And for all those in troubled places in the world, we pray that peace will come to this world. And we pray for all these, all these things that are going on in the world. We pray that, we pray that peace will come, and that you will unite people together in your love, Lord. And we pray for a unity of all faith. And for those with serious illnesses and incurable diseases, and for those with cancer and heart disease, we pray for them today. And we pray for all the research that they're doing for these things. We just pray that you will help them with that. And we pray for all those that have nobody to pray for them today. We just ask a blessing upon those. And we pray for all the vulnerable today, and for the homeless, and for all those that are needing your help and your protection, Lord. We pray for them today. And we pray for all our pets this morning. We just ask a blessing upon our pets. And I'd like to pray now the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Heavenly Father, earthly Mother God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, Lord, today as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, and from all, and lead us, deliver us from evil and from all negativity today, Lord. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And I'd like to pray the prayer to the Holy Spirit. I always like to finish off with this because we're asking for the Holy Spirit this week. And we're asking for the Holy Spirit to touch our lives and to bring the gifts of the Holy Spirit to us. And we just pray, breathe on us, breath of God. Fill our hearts with life anew, that we might love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. 
Touch our lives, Lord, that we might see you in everything that lives and moves and as it's been from you this day. Empower us, Lord, to live in the present moment, seeking only your love and light. Amen. I just forgive me, my glasses keep slopping, slipping off my nose because it's so warm. <laughs> so I'd like to say, we'll just draw to a close with the blessing. We say the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day, on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky. The gift of brother, son and sister moon be in our hearts now and forever. Amen. And we blow out the candle and send love, light and blessing and peace to all those troubled places in the world. And we blow love to one another. Amen. So thank you for being with us today. And if it's evening where you are, have a good night's sleep. But have a good day today and I hope the weather's as good as it is here at the moment in the UK. So I say blessings and peace everyone. <laughs>